Hi YouTube, this is Laminar Flow with another update for my build on my 125 gallon display with the basement sump. While I'm doing an unboxing, I might as well do a second one this evening. This actually is kind of funny, it came at the same time. I ordered this just about the same time that uh, I won Jay's contest. This was my answer to Jay's question of what item I really need or can't live without. My answer was, I can't live without, well, I can live without, but not sure if my fish will live without, or my corals will live without, some kind of controller for their heater. So I did a little bit of searching and I found the Inkbird Smart Remote. So let's take a look, see what I picked up. So this is a dual controller, plug and play. It's good for 1200 watts. So that should, uh, I could potentially plug in multiple heaters into this and it could control them all. So if I wanted to be redundant, I can add two heaters to it. I could put a splitter on there on the heater side. I have to get it set up and show you how it works. Basically, there's two plugs there. There's a cooling plug and a heating plug. So I went with this model. I, I don't know if I'm going to need to cool, um, but I thought it was an interesting concept to be able to cool. Uh, perhaps in my case, cooling might just be to turn on a fan uh, and run it over the top of the water. I am uh, working on a basement sump and it's about 68 degrees down here. So I, cooling may not be an issue for me at all, ever. Um, but if it is, I think uh, just a fan on the sump would, uh, would probably do what I need. But in terms of the uh, controller setup, uh, I don't remember what I spent on this. I think it's about 30 bucks. Uh, but 30 bucks to, uh, to keep the fish from dying if my heater sticks on, it's a good price. Um, certainly a lot less than me buying an Apex, which I don't see in the cards right now in any way. Um, but this is good. This is good insurance and I can carry this over. I can use this on the big tank as well as my current holding tank where I got a couple of fish, a couple of corals. That's what I've got. Once I get it set up, maybe I'll uh, demonstrate it there as well. All set up. Running in Fahrenheit. Current temperature setting is 79. Current reading is 79.1. It's pretty cool. You can see I've plugged into just the heat only side. So this unit has a couple of interesting features on it, some of the stuff that I liked about it. One of the things, uh, besides the heating and cooling, which is really bells and whistles for me, as I already explained, um, it has alarm settings as well. So if I go and do a setting here, temperature settings, so that's my current, that's my differential on temperature, so when it gets above, uh, when it gets down to 78, it'll kick on the heat. Uh, that's my cooling differential, I don't really care there. That's my alarm high, so above 85 this thing's gonna squawk. That might be good for me, right? Uh, and a low alarm, if it's below 70, this thing's gonna squawk. Again, nice feature. Uh, PT is the compressor delay, that's part of the refrigeration kind of stuff. Uh, CA is a calibration, so if I find that my actual temperature and the measured temperature are off, I can adjust it here, plus or minus uh, centigrade Fahrenheit. So there's my settings. Pretty cool, pretty happy. This is insurance. Look at these guys. Thanks for watching.